And we are live. Let me bring in also Mikal here. Hey Mikal, what's up? Um, let's let's say I would say let's give it uh, two three minutes for for more people to to catch up, and we can start. Hi everyone, I can see some people already joining. Oh, a lot of people from Toronto today. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dustin. Hi, Patrick. Adam. Hello. <laughs> no, I don't have coffee. I have uh, some Pellegrino today. Like it's already seven p.m., so it's too late for coffee, Patrick. Good morning. Uh, 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 okay, one more minute and then we can uh, we can start. Okay, I guess we can start. Uh, we have kind of a critical mass. So hi everyone, my name is Khalid. I'm uh, engineering manager um, um, at, at Gatsby. Uh, I, I, I work with a framework team. So anything when you do Gatsby new or Gatsby develop, Gatsby build, that's us. Um, and uh, today I'm gonna um, show you how I, how I go about upgrading one of my side projects to Gatsby 4. It's actually on Gatsby 2, so that's it's about time. And with me, uh, Mikael, you want to say a few words about yourself? Hi, uh, I'm engineer on Framework Squad, uh, and uh, on this workshop I will be mostly lurking in the chat and answering your questions. Cool. Uh, yeah, uh, this is your opportunity. If you have any complex question, bring it to me. I, I can't answer sometimes. So, yeah. Uh, so, I guess with that, we can start. Uh, let me switch a few things around. Um, I'm assuming you all see my screen. So, um, just a few um, like housekeeping things. Uh, this is not one size fit, fits all. So basically this is uh, one um, project that I have and um, hopefully you will learn a few things from it, how you, you go about searching for breaking changes and how you fix it and how you upgrade your site to, uh, to Gats before. So uh, this site is actually something in use. It's not even like a side project that's in the corner. So this is my wife's uh, food blog. Uh, it's under, I will share the link for you. You can see it. So if you're into baking recipes and stuff, um, 
you can you can uh, get one of one of the delicious recipes there um the tax stack is gatsby and uh, contentful um and uh, i use tailwind for for styling uh what else uh, i have like some uh, remarks here um i use uh, algolia with the instant search uh, for search and i think uh, some some more stuff you will discover along the way um so this is the the basic setup you can see here i'm still uh, like in this uh, instance still using uh, gatsby 2.1 uh, gatsby images uh, and like even if we go for contentful it's, it's using super old plugin that's like v2 i think now we're in at seven or something like that um so uh, it's about time to upgrade that and um one thing or first thing we should do uh let me also share maybe the repository with you so it's also like open source so if you want to uh, grab some code or uh, follow along or do anything with that you can. Let me find the event page. Here's the 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 code, and I'm on master. This is like the very old website. Uh, first thing is before we forget, let's do a, a, a branch. So I'm gonna create a new branch here. And then we do we get checkout minus B to create the branch and then go to it. And then here we can say update to four uh, or like to maybe. Yeah, update to four. I like, I like this one. No. So we are in a different branch. We are safe. So we can basically play around with the code here without breaking uh, the website or doing anything uh, weird. Like even if we make mistakes or we destroy everything, we still have our code uh, separate. Um, so what I like to do when I do an upgrade is basically break the website and then go through the errors I have and then fix it. And I do that in different, let's say, steps or layers. So first I make the website works like builds and at least uh, the server runs for Gatsby. Then I will start looking at other like libraries and styling and so on. And then I fix, I fix them uh, along the way. So for that, I'm feeling adventurous and then I will do Gatsby add upgrade and then dash dash latest. So with this basically Yarn will go through each and every dependency I have get the very last uh, version of it and then install it in here. Um, so yeah, this will will take some time, hopefully not that much. I'm curious also on the chat, like how, what's your approach in usually upgrading or what are the, like the, tips or if you have best practices on how you usually upgrade a, like a Gatsby site. Mm -hmm. So almost there. YOLO updating. I like that, Leonard. All right, so um, we have uh, <laughs> we have like all the dependencies now installed. So um, I'm sure, uh, maybe I'm 80% sure it won't work. Otherwise, we won't be here. Um, let's do yarn develop and then see what are the things that will break. Ha! Huh. So first thing. Uh, and valid plugin options for Gatsby plugin feed. So, um, like feeds, uh, require, uh, they changed how they, um, like how you configure it in, in, in uh, Gatsby config. So, usually uh, here we would go to um, 
our Gatsby config. And let's hide the, the terminal for a sec. And then look for feeds here. And then uh, basically it's requiring, let's look again. So it's requiring uh, a title in here. Just get things out. And then uh, let me make this bigger so you can see the code. It's a very long thing. So uh, let me explain a bit here. Like uh, the plugin feeds basically what it does. It allows you to query some data. This is coming from the site metadata that you set also all the way on the top in, uh, in the Gatsby config. And then here you have the, the function serialize where you, you, you fill in all the URLs and, uh, and everything for, for, your, uh, for your feeds plugin. So let's see here, where do we need to set the, the title? So we're setting the excerpt. You can see here I'm uh, returning an object where it's missing the title. So basically here I can add title. And then I can, since I look at my query, I, I'm already querying that, but I'm not using it. So the title is going to be the edge, and then node, and then title. Let's hit save. And let's see if this, this will fix some stuff for us or not. Okay, it's still uh, complaining about that. Did I save? I saved. So we have here, and maybe we're missing it somewhere else. Hmm. I think it's maybe also like here in the object. Ah, this is the main title. Yeah, so it's gonna be uh, the main the title of the website is gonna be uh, chocolate tree, uh, and then so a missing title in in both both areas there. Uh, let's run again. And on to the to the second error. Let's go and see. And on plugin option, blah blah blah. And then I have some error in my uh, Gatsby node. So require of ES, ES module. Uh, da, 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 da. Slash. Let's go see that. I think we might uh, we might even uh, like reverse some changes. Like slash is basically doing uh, slashes. We don't need we need, we don't need that. But let's see what it does. That okay. So one thing I I, I like to to try here before like going uh, really deep, I, I would do like a get diff uh, 
master or well, not no i just do get diff package json and then see the the last like the older version of slash because i'm sure it was uh, working for me uh, so that one is Da, 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 da. Yeah, so version three, uh, I don't need to worry about slash right now, so I might as well just do yarn add and then slash and then version three. Okay, so that's one problem we don't want to worry about right now because it's outside of my like works. So basically, you don't need to change it. Okay. Um, there's some more stuff going on. I think my site is building, kind of, and it breaks. Uh, okay. Let's go to the first error and then see that. And by the way, if you see a lot of like uh, related errors, this is not that scary because usually um, like when you fix something, it will propagate to all the other errors. Da, 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 da. I think I scrolled too much, okay. This is the new, uh, the new errors. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Gatsby source content for through an error while da, 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 da. cannot find GraphQL UTs. Uh -oh. Okay. Contentful is acting is acting up the, the plugin here, so we need to uh, is is the server running? Ah, okay, so uh, what we have here is uh, in one of the templates the JSON is not. Uh, is not on a like a rich text field anymore. Uh, so for that, I mean, if we go to let's do uh, Gatsby source contentful and then like rich text. Uh, yeah, <laughs> baby is crying. She wants to also fix all the all the errors, but. Okay, here. Uh, uh, uh. And that's to prove that this session is live, actually. There's a baby crying in the background, so nothing is recorded. <laughs> and then we can go to uh, all the way to, where's rich text, rich text. Maybe just, okay, yeah. rich text. So let's look at the, the new thing. Uh, so this is the, the new query. So now it's like called raw instead of JSON. And then you need to specify um, like all the fragments that you have uh, inside, of, uh, inside of your rich text. So if you're referencing any, any content model or anything, you need to specify it. Like whether it's an asset, or another uh, another entry uh, and so on. So let me show you my old uh, query here. In inside of uh, the create pages. So this is the old. I mean the old way, but still it's the 
one of the ways of creating pages for, for Gatsby. Uh, what you do is, um, what I'm doing here, I'm querying all blog posts or all articles, and then I'm querying all um, navigation uh, elements and then getting the page uh, inside of it. And then uh, once I receive the results, you can see here um, I'm creating pages and passing the slug as a context to this page template. So if you look at this, it's inside of SRC templates and then page uh, JS. So let's go to that SRC uh, templates and then page JS. And if we go down here to the query that will fill up that page, um, you can see here that I have this page content, which is a rich text field. And then I'm trying to query JSON uh, in there. So that's what, what's breaking uh, like one of the pages uh, basically here. So uh, what I will do is uh, I will go here and then see, okay, I need uh, row and, and then I need uh, references. Um, so let me adjust do this. So this one would be raw. And then uh, references. And then for references, uh, I know here that inside of a handful page, I need to look at my uh, content model uh, in here. Uh, so what I will do is, let's go to um, info and then look at the content models I have in here. Let me get this out of the, out of the way. And then I will uh, just connect and then come back to it. Okay, so uh, if I query by content type page, I can see here the, he's, uh, these are the pages that I'm creating. And then uh, inside of the home page, you can see there's the page content uh, of, uh, the, of this um, uh, rich text. And then I have like articles and, and so on. So home page doesn't have anything uh, special here. Maybe the about is also has like only simple text. So I'm not um, I'm not really uh, embedding anything like to uh, like fancy. So we might not even need to specify any reference here. So let's go back to the. Let's remove references and let's see what happens. Okay, okay. Uh, I have better errors here. Um, cannot query field sizes on type contentful assets. And this is maybe an, an indication that um, I'm using very old version of the Gatsby contentful asset management stuff. Um, so I'll, I'll basically go to uh, like inside of my article JS, which is also inside of the template. And then look for sizes. Here I have, uh, I have this uh, sizes and they have it here and so on. So right now I will, uh, what I will do is uh, let's see if it's, yeah, I'll select everything with that's matching sizes and then save. Uh, remove also 
this and let's see okay we have one error uh, cannot query sizes on type fundamental asset did you mean so do we still have sizes in here I'll also remove this let's see okay and some more errors do you still have sizes okay some more in here and then there's also a resolution that is not supported anymore so we can do that some of you if you worked with Gatsby for uh, long enough I, I would say you you might recognize some of these very old uh, stuff that's used here and then for this one we can just use um, file and then URL just to get something out of it okay Uh, so let's see if we we have a running site. Okay, um, there's a problem with Algolia here. So I guess we we will do the same with Algolia. I don't need to worry about it right now. So. Let's stop the server and then do git diff package JSON and look for um, Algolia stuff like the old, basically the, the red stuff, it's the old ones and the green is the new. Was the error again? It's the instant instant search. Okay. React instant search and was like uh, version five. So uh, and search and then also downgrade downshift to uh, three so we don't need to worry about them since they're it, it's working okay mm, let's run the server again and by the way if you have any question or you have a use case for an upgrade or something you want to share your experience uh, Mikal is here also to help you with uh, questions and me if I if I can <laughs> okay uh, and then contentful size does not exist it's inside of home Okay, so we have the same case with uh, sizes in here. 
just like go through them and then delete any sizes. Uh, What else we have here? It's cool, we see a lot of warnings, no errors so far. So let's see. And then let's refresh this. Yay! We can see the first. Um, at least we see the list of blog posts and images are still working and stuff like that. But let's go to one of the articles here, and you can see now since we removed uh, like avatar and resolution, um, like sizes and resolutions, we need to um, now fix uh, like the the code path where we try to, for example, access something that's undefined uh, and so on. So first thing is let's go to the author JS, like the component author JS, and then fix a few things there. And let me close the other stuff. And you can see here, um, I'm setting the SRC and then the SRC set for for for, uh, for that. For, for this one, I will uh, just change this for now to um, resolution to like file and then SRC uh, to URL because that's what we did request. And, and let's go back to our server. And you can see here now, like if you go to the detail of the blog post, um, and then the recipes, if we scroll all the way down, this is the author and we have uh, uh, everything in here uh, set up. Uh, then let's go to different pages. Uh, some of them are not working, as you can see here. But at least we got we got something uh, working here with the with the images um, and so on. Uh, so this is a good first step. Uh, so we might. Uh, actually need to um, just stop this one and then a good thing to do is like make a commit uh, so let, let's let's see what we what we changed so far um, yeah, our Gatsby config the package JSON and then a few um, templates and and uh, components there uh, so just to add and then commit uh, and then we can call, I can see something. Yeah. Okay, that's a good state. Um, let's run the develop again and then take a look at all the warnings uh, that we have here. Okay, so uh, cannot find module Gatsby plugin image. Let's um, go to the package JSON and see do we have it? Do we have the Guess we plug in image. So I guess we will need to install the uh, Gatsby plugin image. 
and the sh sharp also. But let's start with Gatsby plugin image because it's complaining about it and it's trying to do some stuff. And then with that, uh, also the plugin sharp. <clears throat> okay. And I guess once we install something uh, like the plugin image, we need to make sure that it's also inside of the Gatsby config. I can put it here, like on, on the top. And then it's going to be Gatsby again image. Uh, and then um, sharp. I think the order matters, but I, I, I don't know if it's really matters, uh, we will find out. And let's develop again. Okay, uh, there's also some more warnings, uh, but things are looking much, much better here. Um, so uh, one thing here is, okay, let, let's fix the Tailwind stuff. So instead of purge, now it's uh, content, and that should be inside of uh, Tailwind config, and then here this will be uh, basically content. Because now Tailwind is supporting like Perch, uh, but they changed that to content. Uh, what else? Okay, uh, now let's go to uh, like the site and uh, like let's say like about, for example, you can see here, uh, if we go to, I close the contentful page. If we go to the about page, if we go to the about page here, uh, you can see we're not displaying uh, this text. We are not rendering it because we 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 are not using the the new approach for rendering rich text. So uh, for that. We have here our uh, rich text, and uh, one one other thing is like instead of trying to guess what are the references like in, in here, one thing I like to do is always go to uh, GraphQL server. It's like three under underscore GraphQL, and. Uh, you can like um, explore a few things here. Let's go to the page, all contentful page, and then um, like nodes. And what I'm, what I'm interested in is like the page content, and then here there's row, and then re there's references. And then inside of references, you can see here like you can reference a contentful landing page gallery or content for landing page uh, image. And um, one thing is for like, let's say contentful uh, landing page galleries uh, or like page gallery, uh, you can here um, like get images and then uh, like you, you either get the image uh, and then file or 
what we're interested in would be uh, the Gatsby uh, image data, which we will get later on. Let's for now get just get a basic query so it's running, and then may and then um, extend it later on. Uh, so here we have the. This is like one image. This is multiple images, um, and I build it in a way so like my my uh, my partner she's able to kind of design the site using the content and then i will know if she uses this component i would be render it in this way i will, I will render it in this way uh, so that's basically the the idea okay so i'm interested in this part references uh, in here so what i will do is uh, basically just take references and then one two three four and four and I hope I will take, okay. Cool. So I, I took what I need and then let's go to, uh, we had the template in, in, in here and then uh, it was not home, but like page. And then you can see here, we, we only requested the raw data, but also we need to uh, now uh, get the references. So far, so good. Yep, I will do it. Uh, so later on we can. And then let me also show you the, the query. So but this is basically uh, the query. This is the new way how you query stuff in the rich text uh, for, for um, contentful, like the rich text field. Uh, and then let's copy some more code. Um, I'm sure there's an example here. Um, so what I will do is, uh, like first thing, uh, it's gonna be this, and then I need to render stuff. So I already have some of that code. Uh, you can see here I'm setting my options and then depending on the um, what's the like the type of that content model I will return a component using this getting landing page uh, module in here but what I'm interesting now is uh, is getting this document uh, GSX to be able to render it uh, in here so the function here is actually changed. It's not document uh, to React components anymore, I think. Um, so it's gonna be this one. And then instead of, uh, I think we need to pass it the page content. And then we need to pass in the options here. Uh, wait. Okay. Function again. So it's going to be this, and then. Uh, we have page content. So also page, I think page content will be null if we, um, if we don't have any content uh, in there. Uh, so it might, like things might break here. So we will say uh, if page content is null, we, 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 we basically set this to null, otherwise we render stuff. And if everything works fine, we should be able to see an error. Cool. Uh, it's not defined. Uh, that's easy to fix. Uh, da, da, da. Yep, I'll save that and then go back here.
things are not rendering yet. And why is that? Uh, I need to maybe do a console log and then to see here what's going on. Uh, Ah, okay, so page content, if it's there, or I think it's it all, and then here, yeah, I mean, you can just do, and then document JSX. Uh, maybe we can do like a let's see what's going on. Okay, it's not. Uh, basic. Uh, about. Okay. This is the page I'm, lo I'm looking for here. Uh, let's refresh again. So basically complaining that render rich text is not a function. Hey. Maybe they change the default export or something. Ah, okay. Maybe uh, exporting this from the wrong, uh, yeah, it should be imported from uh, the plugin inside of the library. Yeah, and then here we can see the text, so very nice. Um, we have blog posts that are working. Uh, And then, okay, let's uh, go now to portfolio. You can see here that um, I also have some more uh, problems, but this is inside of get landing page uh, modules, uh, model instead. Um, and let's go to the page first here. And you can see here that we need we we we're getting the ID, but one thing I need to do also I, I need to get the type name. And I'll show you why. So if we go to get uh, landing page module, you can see here I have I have a simple dictionary, and then it's mapping to a component, and then based on that, I will uh, create. Um, uh, I will uh, basically. Um, create a component. Uh, for that, uh, before we, we used to do like sys, content type, sys ID, I can just do here um, uh, type name. And then for the type name, uh, here it's gonna be um, basically the same type name as we have here. So contentful landing page, and then Uh, the gallery, 
Contentful Landing Page Image. Come on. Just want to copy the... The, the gallery here and then I think the other the other type should be a featured post let me see if we have that okay uh, contentful landing page featured post I just don't need the old part. And then and now I will uh, like uh, look at my uh, component map here and then load the component and also uh, render it. So let's see. Uh, again, our site and then go to here, refresh. And then it's still complaining, uh, cannot really undefined type name. So maybe we need to do a, a quick console log. I'm, I'm already doing it, so cool. Um, let's do this. So here, um, There's references, not saying, it's saying it's undefined. So let's go back here and then see if we are passing the correct data. Okay, so uh, hmm, it should not pass me an array if I remember. Ah, okay, modules. Everything is undefined here. Hmm. So first, let's let's get this speech content out. And then um, let's console log node data. Maybe let's change the shape. Hmm. Okay, there's data. Uh, Data is okay. Content somehow we're getting uh, an empty, an empty array data, which is weird. Why we're we getting that? Like, uh,
Okay, so let's get type name. And type name here. Um, Let's double check our query. is weird uh, because it, it works on the other pages <clears throat> like about for example okay but uh, I think we still have like a 30 minutes left so I'm gonna show you um, uh, like I would share with like there's also a finalized branch they have um, we don't need to go super deep into this. Maybe I mistyped something. Uh, then let's 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 use like since we we are at Gatsby four, let's use some of the new um, some of the new features uh, of 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 Gatsby four. Um, one thing is um, maybe file system routes. Uh, so instead of um, uh instead of instead of using create pages api we can use the file system route and with that let's go to first visit our node see here that i am trying to create uh, uh like some articles using create page and we can do that now using the new file system route so inside of src we go to pages and then we can create a new file here and then uh, curly brackets and like here we, we need to specify the type of the node that we want like the collection um, so basically this will be eventful um, article and then dot slug. So I want to use slug as the parameter. Oh yeah, the, the contentful ID and the type name are required. Yeah, maybe that's that's maybe that's it. Let's let's um, let's finish this page and then we can try it in here. Uh, so let's see. So here the contentful ID is required and here it's required. Okay, I think it works. Now it's like a different error, which should be simple to fix landing page image. Thank you. Uh, and then this one now it's like just simple file uh, and then uh, URL. Then it's, it's not, there's no fields anymore. Data. 
images and then there's file and then url ah okay we are in actually okay we are in here in the gallery and then yeah images so no more uh, no more fields no more fields here no more uh, So data dot image dot file dot URL. I mean, we might as well, I mean, we can just do this. And we know that, yeah, it will stop in, in the correct place. Now it's in, uh, Okay, data, images, hmm, landing page image. I, I might be, okay, and then images. Okay, I might know why. Uh, Get uh, landing page modules and then see the component. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, it was it was basically flipped. So it's like wrapping things wrong. Hey, we can see also the portfolio here. So uh, yeah, thanks, Sirena, for for the help. Uh, actually, uh, like even in the documentation, they might mention that the contentful ID is required. Yeah, you know, uh, I I I need, I need to read the docs more. <laughs> cool. So uh, let's go back to the home page and then uh, do some. Uh, some file system utils. So we can go here to article, uh, get the entire page, and then paste it in here. Ah, okay, uh, this is the wrong. Like the extension should be after the. Okay. Uh, and then we need to go to Gatsby node. And um, let's comment this part. Did I comment so much? Uh, yeah, just this part. Server is restarting, and and there's this error now that uh, multiple root queries, article query, and article query, and so on, um, and that's fine because it's complaining that I'm trying to because in a template before it's um, like it's fine you could name your uh, stuff here, but. Uh, since this is, will be run multiple times, the query is already in there. Uh, so that's why we can just 
put put it uh, as as query. Another thing is also um, since Gatsby by default in this file system route will request request uh, will give you an ID. So instead of slug here, we can query by ID. So we can say okay, where the ID is equal to the ID, and then we can basically get the slug and the other stuff. And if we go here. Yeah, uh, it's fine. And then, yay, things are working, I guess. So let's um, we stop the server and then run it again to be clear. Um, Uh oh, it's a it's a four four because here I was adding like the this uh, dot h uh, HTML. Um, I kind of made a bad decision, and I I thought like URLs with dot HTML at the end are cool, um, but now um, I changed my mind. Uh, so we need to fix just the linking because if we remove this one here, it will still uh, four four because also we missed the article part. Uh, let's. F f um, because like the article now is created at the root page. You, you will see it here. So file system route works, but we need to do it nested as we used to do it before. Um, to fix that, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, one way is like to do a new folder here and then call it article. And then inside of this article, we move our file uh, then inside of there. Um, and then, okay, let's, let's update the stuff. We should stop our server. And then yarn develop again. Can you like uh, I see myself moving. I don't know. Things are are things still frozen or uh, that's fine. All right. So let's refresh again. Uh, now you can see like the wrong page is 404. That's uh, intended. And then if we add here. Uh, article and then here you can see I am in the correct page um, and then if I go to home page I click here I'm getting going to the wrong uh, place because um, in my code I'm assuming I'm adding the dot HTML in there uh, so I think I believe it's in a, something called postcard and I was like appending HTML for uh, stuff here, so I just remove this one and then now if I go back uh, maybe refresh so maybe uh, uh, maybe article yeah, I'm still here uh, appending this let's try again We will find it eventually, like one second. Uh, pages. Yeah, here. Uh, yeah, now we, we, we are connected to the correct URL. Uh, but hey, we since I changed URLs, like Google won't know about this change unless I create 
redirects telling them, okay, this old page is permanently moved to this page. And for that, we can use um, something like uh, Gatsby create uh, redirects, and it's, it works pretty well also with Gatsby Cloud. So uh, we can say, uh, look for create redirect, and then Gatsby. Uh, and then it should be inside of actions. Uh, create, create, redirect. So uh, it's telling me here it's inside of actions. So I need to go back to my Gatsby node where I'm getting uh, like create page here. So I need to get create redirect. And then you can see here um, like my old code. So I don't need to create a page anymore. So uh, I'll just leave it there for a second and then call the create redirect. And then create redirect will have um, like a front path, two path, and then is permanent. Uh, I'm gonna copy these. And then, uh, so from path is basically the old path I was um, doing here. And then the old path is pretty much the same without the .html. So I remove the .html and then I say, okay, it's, uh, it's permanent. Uh, and then I'll, I'll remove these pages to make sure I'm not uh, duplicating the stuff there. <clears throat> uh, so here, uh, if I go here, you can see it's all good. And then if I do dot HTML, it's like a 404, but it should it should redirect though. Okay, so now I'm safe also on the Google side. So any old URL, if it was like linked anywhere else in another blog or something, it will permanently redirect to the new one um, in here. So um, we have about like 17 minutes. Uh, what should we do here? Let's do some DSG. So I have like the, 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 the site has about 92 articles. Um, so I'm like, maybe um, I don't wanna build all of them every time. So maybe I wanna just build the top 10 uh, blog posts um, and then the rest I will defer them for later. So if someone is feeling nostalgic about a recipe that's four years ago, um, they can just go, it will get built and then cached uh, for us. Um, so again, uh, let's go to, uh, you know, uh, here, I mean, you can search for uh, DSG. So it's deferred static generation uh, in here. And then you can see uh, in, in how you can use it different ways. You can use it in create pages, you can use it inside of um, a file, like a, something that I already did, which is the Gatsby um, uh, file system routes. So that's where we, we need that. Uh, so let's go to file system route API here. And then uh, basically I need to export a config function that's returning a function. And then here I can actually use some, some GraphQL. Um, so something like, uh, like this. So I'm gonna, uh, like, I will use something similar to this, to this function. Um, so there's a question here about where do I go to find the recorded talks later? It's gonna be available on the Gatsby YouTube channel. And I believe it's gonna be on, on the 5th of March, but I might be wrong. But it's gonna be available on, yeah, the Gatsby YouTube channel. So let's go and um, export a function, uh, call it config, and then uh, start from there. Let's go to our file here, and then 
uh, in here I will do export so it's asynchronous and then we can do function or we can do even like a yeah a function and then config and okay um then we will need the the graphql here um and for graphql what i will i want to do is query all articles um so this is a habit also that you you should be in here to make sure that you your query is always always right um i, I want to um get all the contentful article i just want to get the slug of it and then I want to sort them uh, descending by publish date. So basically the top 10 will be on the top and then the rest uh, I don't need. So what I will do is um, take this query here and then go back to my code. So it's going to be const and then I, I need to pull in data. And then this is going to be GraphQL. I'm, I'm already importing the GraphQL, so I need to put in the query. And then um, you can see if you go to the documentation again, uh, we need to return a function uh, like here. So let's go there. And then um, for for uh, par params, da, 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 all posts. Okay. So here, um, for me, I will I will basically do um, uh, posts, like posts, slugs, because I'm interested in the slug. And then here I will get the data dot all uh, contentful, basically this part here. And then we have uh, nodes, and then I'll map through nodes and then return just a slug. Uh, so it's going to be node slug. So here I have the post slugs. Uh, and then basically when defer is true, uh, I guess we will defer this page. If it's false, it won't, it will, it will not uh, defer it. So what I'm trying to do here is like, I will go to um, uh, this part here and then uh, say, okay, if it's index of uh like params here dot slug which is where i'm getting like the like this the params is basically the slug here and then anything you receive after the the slash so if the index of this is like um greater than nine basically the array starts from zero so from zero to nine is 10 blog, blog posts defer everything else so that's the, the idea. Uh, what's going on here? Ah, yeah. And obviously I need to do, okay, this is a const. Okay. So let's go to um, our site. And then like, basically the idea is like, if you go to one of these, it's already built for you. Oh no, this is the wrong website here. If we go uh, to one of these, should be available for you right away. And then if you go to one of these uh, pages, it will build at that time and then uh, will be available for you, will be cached for the next user. Um, cool, I think we have 10 minutes left. So I would say, I'm gonna uh, stop sharing my screen uh, or like remove it here and then bring in Mikael and then we'll try to answer like questions um, if you have if you have any anything related to upgrading. Um, we are also interested in like your feedback but also what are the things that we can help you with uh, and especially for pro future projects that we can help you with during like upgrading to a major version. And uh, I will also, if you're curious about 
like more stuff that I, I, I did uh, with, the, with the website. I have a, like a pull request that I will merge soonish. You can basically uh, find it here. So it's way more advanced than what I did here because we didn't have time to, to do all the cover all the stuff. It covers also um, how to use Gatsby images and, and, uh, and, and so on. So yeah, uh, please shoot your questions. Uh, there's the QA session uh, section here. Um, so um, how much time the recorded sessions are going to be available? Uh, yeah, <laughs> someone already, uh, I think Mikal already answered all of them <laughs> so um yeah uh if you if you have more questions please uh, let us know this is a good question from danny uh about like do you have plans to move from reach router to react router um, so we currently don't have concrete plans. We do plan to um, migrate at some point. We don't know yet if we will use something like a uh, React Router 6, or maybe we'll do something like much smaller, something just for Gatsby, uh, like minimal, minimal router in attempt to ship less JS to browsers uh, with like shipping minimal stuff needed for Gatsby. But at this point, like we don't have any concrete plans uh, on migration. Yeah, but I guess it's gonna be the the natural thing uh, in 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 the future. As uh, yeah. Right, so create redirect. Uh, so you add it by editing Gatsby node. Uh, so uh, you will have to restart Gatsby development server uh, for this. That's that's one part. The other part is that uh, the Gats Gatsby development server doesn't really uh, handle those redirects. The Gatsby development server only handles the <laughs> redirects when specified to redirect in the browser. So it's tough to to test this uh, locally, and you should probably testing this on uh, on the hosting on your hosting. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, maybe we can. I can show it working on the live site. So let's say um, we have this one here with the HTML. Uh, and then I want to go to you, you see here the dot HTML. Um, and then if I hit enter, you can see here it's redirect me to the wrong to the correct uh, URL. So maybe also let's try to see, uh, it should be three, three or one also. You can see here it's permanently redirected the, um, the, the page to, uh, to the new one. Um, so the, the the part about meta tag redirect is some plugins uh, were uh, implementing redirects in that way uh, because that mm. that's something that will work on most hosting. It's not ideal uh, for 301. You have to have some integration with your hosting, and you will get those on uh, on, on Gatsby Cloud right now. Uh, we can't. <laughs> I don't know about other hostings. 
Uh, yeah, so there's also the question about uh, YARN versus MPM um, and like a, a, a preference. So I, um, like for me personally, if, if I see a project using MPM, I would continue using MPM with it. If it's using YARN, I would continue using YARN with it uh, because also about a, a team workflow and maybe they have like different things. Um, so, um, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say there's a, a preference, but it depends, I guess, on, on on the project. I don't know, Mikael. What what's your your take? Um, in the past, we were uh, often recommending Yarn over NPM. Uh, it, this was in time of NPM six, where uh, NPM was installing dependencies in weird ways. Uh, that was sometimes breaking for the user. So at those times we did recommend YARN over NPM, but currently it's really your preference. Any new, uh, okay, there's, um, is it possible to do code splitting with content models without losing SSR? For example, five pages with different components on it, but all are bundled in one file. Uh, not easily, uh, currently. Uh, we will be looking to use something uh, to integrate better with something like React VZ. So you could like do map like uh, Halad has had in his site where you would just like wrap everything with lazy and the Gatsby uh, then should discover like what which lazy modules were actually used uh, to generate HTML files and append them to the uh, scripts needed to be loaded. But currently there is no good way to do this. And maybe you can take one last thing, I mean, from, from Danny uh, about like writing a source plugin. So here is like, I get really confused um, when schema updates, example, line level debugging my show, my code, path getting run, but the Gatsby site and the graphical does not always reflect hmm, a new type structure. Uh, can you help mm -hmm. me understand when uh, a server deserves restart versus refresh endpoint? Um. Uh, so if you are writing your own source plugin, uh, I assume you mean like writing your, uh, the schema customization for the plugin or do I uh, understand this wrongly? Like in that case, anytime you change schema customization, you do need to restart the development server. Like in, in general, anytime you edit the Gatsby node file, you will have to restart Gatsby development server because like it's not really possible to do the hot reloading uh, uh, reliably uh, in Gatsby node file. So for like for whenever you change your types, you will have to restart the development server pretty much. And the refresh endpoint is just to trigger data update. Cool, I think we are on time. So um, thank you everyone coming with us on this uh, journey and seeing me kind of struggling, um, was fun. Um, I shared the code, but if you have any question or anything, um, reach out to us, you know, like different channels like Discord or Twitter or something, uh, we're happy to help. And uh, yeah, thank you very much.